This is a coffee mug, but for a scientist, it is so much more. So this is just an ordinary mug, right? But from the viewpoint of topology, it's actually a donut shape. What you can do is you can expand it or you can contract it and you can shape it around, you can deform it. But what you cannot do and what gives you another shape is if you punch with brute force a hole in it, you will only be able to contract it into this little circle, this inner circle. These questions about just the shape of the mug, these are questions of topology, which I face in my daily work. Donald Humans is a scientist at Structures, the excellence cluster at the Heidelberg University. Uh, one can think about these wormholes, which are very popular in science fiction, right? And they're toy models, uh, which give us solutions to universes connecting to different universes or probably the same universe, and you can make like a shortcut. And the tunnel is what we call a non-trivial topology. It, it has a hole in it, right? It's just like this coffee mug had a hole, the donut has a hole. Basically, this tunnel has a hole as well. It's the topology in that sense is kind of the study of the shape of the universe. Physics and math are closely related. Physics can suggest new mathematics and the other way around. Physics can only work with a suitable mathematic language. Two things which at first glance might seem totally unrelated actually turn out to be linked by a deep mechanism which comes from physics. I mean, it's really about this relation between mathematics and physics and the way we use physics to describe our reality can give rise to like new interesting structures in mathematics, which one might not have seen from like a purely abstract mathematical point of view. This interaction between disciplines is what makes the research and the work of the cluster structures in Heidelberg so unique. Professor Beatrice Pozzetti is a mathematician here at the university. Hyperbolic geometry is her main field of research. To go from this point to that point, I can go either here, which is very short, while if I want to go all the way around, it takes much longer. And this is a finer information that topology doesn't see and geometry sees. Hyperbolic geometry is thrilling and fascinating on its own from the eyes of a pure mathematician, but it's also important in physics. So to me, structures is really a unique environment because it allows a lot of interaction between different scientists at different age and different levels of knowledge and of different disciplines. And this brings the knowledge very fast forward. The scientists at the cluster structures in Heidelberg look at our world from different perspectives. With their research, they push the boundaries of what we know every day.